What? What is going on here? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't plan this. This just came. Uh, it came upon me right now. <laughs> Hold on, guys. If you're there, if anybody's there, is anybody there? I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to pull up the thing here, so I can see. Are we going live? Are we live? I don't know. There's nobody there. Are we live? Let's see. I don't see anything on here. Here we go. The boss says, sup. What's up, the boss? What's up, Samuel? Live indeed. Okay, good. Well, let me click on this. I'm trying to just pull up the chat so I can see. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, now I can kind of read what's going on here as I do this completely unplanned live shave. Sonny Michael, what's going on? Destroyer7198, Chicago, what's going on? Uh, I just took a shower. Look at my hair. I don't know. These, these two right here. I don't know. My hair is too long right now. Finally made it to one, James Black. Hey, Tony. Hey, so, God, I always feel like, I always feel like I'm yelling. I'm not yelling, but I feel like I get excited, okay? I don't know why. And the reason why I'm excited, Deadly Cobra, what's going on? What's going on, Sean Stout? Um, so the reason that I did this is because No Shave November starts, I know, Mr. Noir, enough of me, right? You don't need me this on a Monday and a Tuesday. Whew, and then Thursday, I'm going to do a live stream from a spooky graveyard for Halloween. And then Friday, I'll have my normal thing. And the reason why is because No Shave November starts on Friday. And I started thinking, wait a minute, I have to, I got some space soap in. Some, Bob sent me some more space soap. Hi, Roy. Mike, um, he sent me, Daniel, he sent me some space soap. He didn't just send me one. He sent me these. Well, these are actually the same. These are the cows in space, uh, right? Cows in space? Yeah, cows in space. Hi, Russia. Pavel. Tony, Narzul, I know, weird to see me shaving, I know. And then, oh, sorry, there's a kind of a sexy lady on the back of that one. Another thing of space soap. He sent me all these things, Bob. So, uh, Robert, I'll call you Bob, because he, he signs his things, Bob. So he sent me all this stuff, and it's like, well, no shave November is coming up. I mean, I will be doing shaving videos, but I wanted to shave with a full, you know, full shave, because I will be shaving, you know, growing the beard, but shaving my cheeks and my neck and all that. Hey, Caden, what's going on? And Niall, good to see you. Usually you're asleep. I know, I know, I know. This is this is totally uh, because Robert or Bob sent me all this stuff, and I wanted to shave with one of them. And I just can't wait. Um, so the space soap, if you saw the other ones, were is this black soap with menthol. It's like like a peppermint menthol, but this one he calls afterburner because he put extra menthol in it for me. Ah, oh, smells good. But I'm not going to shave with that one. You need a cube from Phoenix. All right, I should. You're right. Hi, Ian. Hi, Steven. And uh, so what, what I'm excited about is this, the cows from space. And this is, check this out. So you saw the black one. Check this out. This is cherry almond scented. Oh, I, I love cherry almonds. Cherry is my favorite flavor, you know, and so this stuff, oh, it's like super strong cherry almond. But the, the scent is one thing. That's great. But this is, look at that. <laughs> That's why he calls it cows in space. It looks like one of those, what is it, a Holstein cow that has the black and white? Oh, and this stuff, I gotta, I gotta shave with it. I gotta get in as many shaves as I can before No Shave November starts on Friday. So here's the cool thing. So he sent me two of these cows in space. I'm gonna use this one because I'm just gonna give one away. He said, give one away. Now, if you thought that that was special, I know, I know. So here's the other one. I'll show you the one I'm giving away. You'll get, see what uh, what pattern you get. There you go. Oh, bald bastard, should be quiet. Be quiet. Oh, so strong. It's like cella. You know, the cella smells strongly of almonds and cherries. This is like kicked up like to notches unknown, as Emerald used to say. Anyway, this is the one I'm going to give out. The cows in space. But if you thought that was special, look at this. So not only does he... What's up, Daryl? Uh, not only does does Bob make his own soaps, and actually I use, he sent me like bar soap, like this mentholated bar soap to use, and I use that as just like, a, you know, shower soap, so it's stuff is great. Alex, I know, Alex, I know. Good to see you, though, at least. Alex, you're here. Uh, no, I can't do a time lapse of my beard. I can't, I don't know how to do that, Deadly Cobra. I can't figure that out. I'm too, I'm not high tech enough. Anyway, so the soaps are one thing. That's great. But look at what he sent me. 3D printed brushes in the shape of a little rocket ship. Look at this. He sent me two. So one of them says space soap on it. See that? He was testing out uh, doing um, 
uh, the lettering inset. And then he sent me this one, which is, it says Sinatra Lennon Space Soap. So these are 3D printed. I've never had anything 3D printed before. Certainly with not with my, well, it's not my name, but you know, my YouTube name. Look at that, Sinatra Space Soap Lennon. Yeah, so I, I think if it's okay with Bob, I think I'm gonna give away this one because I certainly don't need two of them. Now they are different. This one, the one that I'm gonna keep that has my name on it is this one and then this one. And they're, uh, <laughs> Niall, be good. These are spaceships, see? Little, like old 50s style spaceships. So I think I might give this one away if that's okay. Thanks, Alex. Have a good work day. Um, family friendly, everybody. Spaceships, space soap, space cows. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if Bob says it's okay. I'm definitely giving this away. And if so, I'll give away both of them together. I know. And so he said he also did this for himself and he painted it black, more like a traditional shaving brush color. So. Let's shave, shall we? I took a shower, did my hair. I gotta try this cherry almond stuff. I know this may be too much content for one week, but I mean, I figured no shave November is coming up. I gotta, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna miss out. So I'm gonna use the Sinatra space show, uh, spaceship brush. Look at this special effects. I'm gonna soak it down here. I think they're synthetic. Yeah, they're both synthetic brushes. Do they come in pink? You can paint it pink, Craig. You could, if you know how to paint 3D printed plastic. Hey, Gavin. Well, thanks for coming there, buddy. All right. So I'm going to see how this stuff lathers up. The cherry almond cows in space from Bob. I will link to his Etsy uh, account. If you go to Etsy and you do space soap, like shaving, you'll find it. But I'll go back to the... Oh, I want to eat it. That's how good this stuff smells. This smells strongly of cherry. Like more so cherry than almonds. Oh, Dalmatian soap, there you go. No, there won't be, hopefully red, I'm, I'm gonna try not to bleed. It, it is, oh, what time is it here? It is 1.16 p.m. So 13.16 over here in the United States. Let's shave, no more talking. So let's see if the black and white stays as I lather this thing up. It does, look. <laughs> oh, and it smells. How you doing, George? I'm doing well. I'm trying to get in as many shaves as I can um, before No Shave November starts on Friday, so I just spur the moment. I got this in the mail yesterday. Hello, Hungary, Hadnagi. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I try my best. I try my best to get it wrong. <laughs> All right, that's loaded up well enough, and look at that. Now, the only thing he did say, you can't really put this down because it's like it got the nose comb, so you gotta kind of lay it down. Uh, let me wash off. The front of the soap and look at that even after lathering up hi uk it's still all right this is going back in my little drawer ah oh, this stuff smells good it smells like cherry marish yeah kind of like um not maraschino but like a strong hello belgium yeah i know smell vision here i'll put it right up to the let's lather up look at the... and this stuff bob makes great soap if you haven't bought some of his face soap off etsy you should because this stuff works well. All right, let me get some more water in there. Oh, smells so strong of like, of a rich cherry smell, kind of like a maraschino cherry a little bit, a little bit uh, like almost a cherry liqueur smell. I know you're watching a man shave in America and <laughs> you're in Russia. I know the internet is a crazy thing, isn't it? You can find whatever you want. And this, this rocket ship brush, 3D printed, it's very light, it's like hollow. Can you hear that? So it's a, uh... pardon me. It actually doesn't taste too bad. The, uh... <laughs> hello Scotland, Jersey cow, cherry and almond soap. You are going to see Grandpa Grungy. Yes, sir, I kept the blade in him. I thought, well, should I change it out? No, I'm gonna use Grandpa Grungy for the live shave today. Totally unexpected, I didn't plan on this. Um... And these are from, sent to me, I, they arrived yesterday, there's a rocket ship that says, if you haven't seen it yet, Sinatra Lennon Space Soap on it. Yeah, so let's shave, shall we? You need a little holder for that thing, you need a docking bay for, uh, cause it, you can't place it down because of the nose cone is shaped like that, it just falls over. But uh, he warned me about that. All right, let's shave. Hey, Constantinos, will, will I bleed? I might. But that's all part of the process, you know. How's the scar? It's not there, no scar. 
luckily. I still haven't mailed off any of the shadettes. I'm terrible, terrible. I just, I gotta get it in my act together, but we've been very busy with a lot of baseball tournaments lately with the kids and uh, Halloween and fall festival carnivals at schools and things like that, so. I just haven't, uh, I probably have had the time, but I just haven't done it, so. <laughs> no excuse, no excuse for me. Oh, this stuff smells great. Uh, wet blades, the feather blades, the same one I used for yesterday's video. I was gonna film this and just post it, but I, then I figured, no, I'll just do it live. I don't have any Parasso right now, red or green. Everyone keeps wanting me to do the Parasso, but I don't have it. So I guess I'll have to get some. Because I want to keep you guys interested, at least. All right, let me see what everybody's saying here. Fallen, finally a live episode from Ireland. Hello, Ireland. Will I take a break from shaving? I won't take a break from shaving. I just won't shave my whole face. I will shave my neck and my cheeks, but I will grow the beard like the mustache goatee and then the, you know, down on the side. I am going to do No Shade November. And if you wanted to see what I look like with a beard, just go back to last November, because I did it then too. And I've got the beard oil ready, because I don't want to, you know, that's one of the main things that gets so, and here's Grandpa Grungy, yeah. Grandpa Grungy. He's still gross. Live. Um, yeah, it gets, my beard gets real itchy because my skin gets all irritated and red underneath there, which is why I like the way I look with a beard, but my skin doesn't, so I just don't do it. Taking a break from building airplanes. Wow, well, thank you, Daniel, for, for doing what sort of airplanes, like commercial, private type stuff? It's fascinating what everybody does. We've all got different jobs, don't we? Can I, no, I'm not going to shave with whipped cream again. I already did that. Maybe I should shave with, uh, like, Thanksgiving turkey giblet gravy or something disgusting like that. You know, I'll save some gravy from our Thanksgiving dinner, which is at the end of November. Maybe I should do that. What angle do I hold the razor? Here, check it out. About like this. See that? About like that. What is that, about 30 degrees or so? Hi, Andrew. Peanut butter, that's probably not smooth enough. And I'm not going to shave it. I'm not going to shave with any more shavettes. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson twice using two shavettes, and I think what I realized was, and with some comments from you guys, is that you really shouldn't do a full shave with a shavette. That's more for like a barber to kind of straighten up your your hair, like you know, around your uh, your uh, what you call <laughs> your sideburns. Thank you, my goodness. I'm trying to shave. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to. Figure out something to say to all y'all. Have I tried whipped dog brushes? I never have. All right, let me look here. Will I do another glamorous video? Glamorous video? I don't, I don't think I've ever made a glamorous video, but I'll, I'll certainly do a video when I shave it off. I remember I had you guys choose which razor to use. All right, here we go again with a 3D printed brush that says Sinatra Lennon Space Soap. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, where I shaved off. I did all the different uh, kinds of beards you can do. I didn't do the, uh, you know, World War II mustache, if you know what I mean. But I did like the, uh, what did I do? I can't even remember now. Mutton chops and pencil thin and all that stuff. Hey, Bob, this is a good brush. This cherry almond space cow soap, which I will be giving away. I'm giving away a tin of it. Mm. Oh, hey, Dominic, if you do, can somebody find, go back to um, the video where I did the space soap uh uh, uh, review and somebody go back to that and in the description I put a link to Bob's Etsy store can someone go do that real quick come back and then paste it into the live chat and because I'm giving this away which is what I'm shaving with the cherry almond super cherry I love it absolutely love it and if Bob says it's okay I'm gonna give away this rocket ship which says space soap also 3d printed these are just prototypes hello Croatia Thomas Lov, good to see you I'm shaving with some space soap space cow space soap. let me take the top off because some of you didn't see it, some of you weren't here. But look at this, look at that. It's like a Jersey cow, black and white. <laughs> Definitely forget shavettes, that's right, too sharp. All right. Now let me, I'll keep the top off, because I'm gonna show it off again. All right, second pass. Hey, Osage rub, all right, that's a good idea. You got a strop safety razor from your grandpa? No, no, don't don't send me your grandpa's stuff. That's that's too much, That's I, I'm willing to take, uh, you know, like, New stuff, but I can't take family heirloom stuff. Save that for yourself or uh, save it for uh, 
you know, your kids, if you ever have kids, because it'll be, it'll be worth it. Don't send it to me. <laughs> you know, no sentimental stuff that you might miss later. I can't accept it. But anyway, yeah, so Bob sent me this stuff. Has somebody gone back to check the, uh, check the, uh, the link to Bob's Etsy store? He's, uh, he's selling these, I think they're $15 each. He's got the space soap up there. I don't know if he has the space cow yet. And this is just kind of a test for fun with a little ra rocket ship. So he sent me the two prototypes. I guess he made himself one as well. And he's not a professional, uh, you know, soap salesman or anything. He just kind of, you know, has fun doing it. And I said, hey, you ought to sell this great stuff. And so he's like, okay. And he started selling a few on Etsy. So he's not like in the business to be a, a soap salesman, but he does have an Etsy store and he's got some, some supplies to sell and they're really good stuff. I'm loving this uh, cherry almond space cow scent. Let's see, no bloopers so far, I know, I know, cross your fingers. Oh, see, s -Tac says space soap is awesome and has great customer service, that's good. Let's see, I'm okay. Greetings from Spring Hills, Florida. Hey, Richard Torres, how you doing? How you doing down there in Florida today? How's everybody doing wherever they are? It is cold and rainy today here in Texas, which is fine with me, I love it. I love this kind of weather. I live for this kind of weather because, hey, hello, Graham over there in England. It is kind of like English weather today. You know, I'm a, I'm a huge Beatles fan and whenever you see pictures of the Beatles, they were always wearing like, you know, suits and turtleneck sweaters, or as I think you call them polo necks there. That's because it's always cold over there. We couldn't get away with that over here. If we had all had beetle haircuts, we would just sweat and it stuck to our forehead. <laughs> all right. It's bloody freezing, bloody freezing in Birmingham. Oh, that's not, that's not a Birmingham accent, I know. <laughs> what is a Birmingham accent? I'm not sure. All right, what's the maximum length your beard reached in your entire life? I, I always kept it short, like maybe, you know, quarter inch. I never let it grow. Peace, Mike Rose. Oh, there you go. Caden, everybody, Caden just posted in the live chat the link to Bob's Etsy store. You can go check out what space soap he has for sale. He sent me this afterburner, which is like the space soap with extra menthol added. Brummy. Oh, brummy. Yeah, I've heard that term. So anyway, he's got, I don't know if he has the afterburner on there, but I know he has the normal space soap and uh, the space cow, which is the cherry almond, which is what I'm shaving with right now. Look at that. How clever is that? All right. Hey, I just did a second pass. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, Jason. Let's do a third pass, shall we? Since we're doing this live. Got some more on the old 3D printed rocket ship. Yeah, I probably should paint this thing like silver and like add the little porthole window. Like, do some... It's sold out? Oh, they're sold out completely? Oh, Deadly Cobra's going to eat. See you later, buddy. Benjamin is also growing a beer for No Shade November. All right. Who else is uh, is going to do No Shave November or Movember as they call it? Let me know in the, have I tried the Nivea Original Shaving Tree? I don't think I have. I've only done that one uh, batch of Nivea that I found at my local uh, grocery store. This is a good brush, Bob. And it actually works. You can hold on to it fairly well, a little rocket ship. All right. And this space cow, cherry almond space cow soap. Oh, it smells so good, I wanna eat it. I wanna eat it. Hello from, hello Serbia, Orange Peep, over there in Serbia. That's just, it's incredible to me how far apart we all are. And for some reason, all you weirdos are watching me shave. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. You'll be doing November, Caden says. Say, I have a beard most of the year anyway, but it's fun in November. Beard oil and beard balm are definitely lifesavers. Hello, Ireland. Patty, Patty. How did I know you were from Ireland with that screen name? You're in with a stash and a goatee, Richard Torres says. Use the blue, blue Nivea and it's really good. You prefer the cool one. Rafael Leal Santos. Shout, I was going to give you a shout out on Friday, Rafael. Rafael Leal Santos. That's my pronunciation of your name. I think I got it just... Right. <laughs> you can't do Movember. It makes your 50-year-old patchy beard. Yeah. You know, I got a... Hello, Slovenia. I've got a buddy who, who cannot for the life of him grow a decent beard, but he's still got one. So if you're out there, buddy, I think you should shave it. <laughs> you know who I... You know who you are. Ah, 
Yeah, so I'm, I got to tell you, I'm not looking forward to No Shave November because it does make my skin break out and itch and bugs the... Oh, got some nicks. You see that? Got some nicks. Somebody wanted to know if I was there's going to be any blood today, and I couldn't say yes or no, and there's a few little nicks. Nothing like that shavette, though. Oof. That was one of those things where, you know, when you cut yourself and you know, Hello, whales! Hello, Jack! Jack and whales. You cut yourself all the time with a safety razor. Any tips? Um, try a different razor. Because this Grandpa Grungy that I use always gives me nicks. Just about always. And But then the Rockwell never gives me nicks of any kind. So it's weird. But if you do get nicks, then get yourself, and it took me a long time to get one of these, get an Allen block to stop the little, the little tiny bloody nicks, you know. The shave head incident. <laughs> uh, it'll stop the bleeding really quickly. It's an astringent, it makes your skin tighten up. Man, this cherry almond space cow, which I will be giving away. Hello, York. Hello, Kent. Boy, I, I need to come over to the UK again. It's been, when was I there last? I think I was there in year before last for Christmas, right after Christmas. I need to get back over there and we can have a, a meetup somewhere central. Because there's a lot of you over there watching these videos. I guess I need to have a some kind of a meetup here. I don't know where it would be though. I wonder do women shave with safety razors? They can, and actually in the 60s, Gillette has a, a safety razor made for women. It's got like a longer, thinner handle and it, it actually looks pretty cool. It's got like some starburst things on the handle. I saw one in, uh, um, in an antique store one time, and I thought, hey, that looks pretty cool. I didn't buy it. I looked into it, I was like, oh, it's for, for women, but really, it's just a safety razor. I mean, there's no other difference than a longer, thinner uh, handle. Still the same head as a safety razor, you know? May, maybe a tiny bit slimmer, but uh, otherwise, it was the same, so... Might try one of those. Yeah, so Patty, if you need some more advice that I can't give you right now because I'm thinking about what I'm doing here, check the chat because people are saying, hello, Panos TV, how you doing? New York Diesel in Florida. I missed a spot. Did I miss a spot? It's all right. <laughs> Let me see. I got to get underneath the nose here. Yeah, so this was just a an impromptu, if you're just now joining me, it was an impromptu um, shave because No Shave November is coming up. And Bob, whose Etsy store, if you look back in the chat, uh, Caden, could you post that again, that link? Uh, he sells this space soap, and he sent me his new stuff, this package of Space Cow, which is what I'm shaving with. And it's this stuff, and it's a really strong, hello, Germany. It's a really strong uh, cherry scent, like cherry almond. It's fantastic. See you later, George. Thanks for joining me. There you go, Caden, everybody. I think, uh, I think they said that Robert's sold out right now, but you can make him a favorite in your Etsy if you sign up or something, and uh, he'll have some more for sale soon, I'm sure. And he sent me this 3D printed rocket ship brushes. They got a little porthole on the side that says Sinatra Lennon on it. And space soap. So I'm gonna give away, if Bob says it's okay, I'll give this away but he definitely wanted me to give away a tin of the space cow. Not the tin I'm using, because I'm gonna keep this one for myself. Hello, UK, more folks from the UK calling in. So this was an impromptu shave, as I was just explaining. I got some more stuff right here. All right, let me, let me do this. Put some more hot water on. I'm gonna put just a little bit more down here, because you know, a lot of people have a problem with their necks. Uh, because it's, you know, it's, your neck is kind of, you know, hello Ireland, hello Vancouver. Uh, yes, I will be doing a live stream from a spooky graveyard here in town. A uh, graveyard from like the 1850s. So I'll be doing that on Halloween at some point during the day, right after I get off work, which will be about 1030 in the morning, uh, Central Standard Time. Hi, Shaver Traditional or S Shaver Traditional. We're doing it live right now. We're doing it live. Uh, yeah, so this is the... Cows in Space Space Soap, sent to me yesterday by Bob, whose uh, Caden just linked his Etsy store in the live chat. So go check him out there. I, I think he's per, uh, temporarily sold out, but uh, go over there and make him one of your favorite vendors. He's just a nice guy. He's not, I'm not, the only reason I'm talking about it is because he's been so generous 
to me. He's been, uh, you know, he just made, does this as a hobby for fun. He makes these soaps. Uh, he's trying to get his son interested, but you know how that can go sometimes. You know, they got other things they're doing, but he's, uh, he's interested. He just has fun doing it, and he's been so nice, and he sent me all this stuff. This is like the, the second care package he sent me. So I just want to share the love and uh, point you his direction. He sold out of his first stock. He, would, he didn't even mean to, to go into business. Yeah, the cherry is fantastic. It smells so great. But I said, you should, because people will love this. It's great soap. He does a great job. I'm using Grandpa Grungy today, Paul. Grandpa Grungy, there he is, live and in person. And I'm using the Space Cow soap, which smells of cherries and almond. Mostly cherry, like a strong maraschino cherry smell. Oh, love it, love it. All right, now see, ooh. There's a little, there's a, there's a weeper. They call that one a weeper. The grunge, dude. I know. It's okay, Starlow dear. I'm all right. I'm not gonna... I didn't pass out. I was just kidding. What you do is, you get one of these little guys out, an alum block. All right. Let me get it out of here. Make sure my face is wet. How long am I gonna last through No Shave November? I'm gonna go the whole month. I did it. I did it last year. It was just fine. It bugged me all month, but I made it. Your Black Beauty is nicknamed Uncle Fester. <laughs> there you go. So Red's Risotto says post-shave alum block, potassium salt, and a styptic pencil. Where do I, oh, where did I do with mine? I think I threw it away. Uh, is aluminum salt, which is stronger. So this is just kind of an overall astringent. Yeah, I did kind of nick myself right there, see? There is a little bump there I can feel. You know, some little, yeah, no shade in November. I'm gonna do it. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. Huh. Stings. It stings, you know? Yeah, go back and watch when I shaved off my beard with whipped cream last year, if you wanna see that. You know, me acting silly. What should I, I don't think I'll do any more straight razor shaves, Malo. I don't think so. Maybe I'll do one more and then I'll give it away. That's what I'll do. You know, when I gave away that package of things recently, uh, what I do is I gather together things I don't normally use, and then I'm going to send them out to you uh, for just the cost of shipping to wherever you are. Just to lighten my load. I want to simplify my life and get rid of some things I don't use that uh, aren't doing anything except sitting in a closet and give you guys a chance. All right, so there. I just did that with the Allen block, like probably more than I should have. But uh, ooh, if you get Allen block around your lips, then it kind of makes your, your lips stick to your teeth. It's kind of weird. Yeah, that was that was more that was kind of a little nick right there. I'm gonna have to have to put a little. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you what I do. <laughs> I'm like like an old fashioned dad from the '50s. I just grab a, a hunk of toilet paper and jab it on there and walk around for like an hour or two before I realize it's still stuck to my neck with a little blood drop that is already dried. Okay, let me wash this off. Wash the alum off. Cold water. That was my fault. Use chapstick or the block will dry your lips out. Oh, interesting. Put a barrier. I do use Blistex. When I was a kid, I got the worst chapped lips all the time. And so now I carry around constantly a little tube of Blistex that I, you know, let my kids use because they also get the terrible chapped lips. I mean, the kind that's like cracking and peeling. I used to eat that all the time when I was a kid. Hated it. And then a girlfriend said, use this. And I was like, okay. And it was important because she wouldn't kiss me otherwise, I'm sure. All right, here's what I do. See this? Boom. Look at that. That's blood right there, folks. Sorry. Sorry. Somebody said I should use the Osage. Oh, the wisdom of the Osage. That's a good bleeder. I know. That was... I, I, there's a bump down there. Like, you know, you know how skin is. You get these weird mystery bumps for who knows why. I must have when I was doing that final third or... It was like three and a half pass. I grabbed a hold of that thing. Oh, well. Here's what you do. If, it, if, it's, if this isn't enough, just do this. There we go. That's going to that's gonna stop it. There we go. See? Look at that. There we go. It's not going anywhere now. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, why do I do these silly things? I don't know. There we go. There's a giant one. Uh, Osage, it's hard to describe what it smells like. Nice to see you live. It's 1838 there in Scotland. You'll be scraping your face later. Have a good one. Thank you. See you, Davey. 
have a scotch for me. Somebody earlier said, what's my favorite single malt? I'm having, I'm really enjoying a Springbank right now, a 10 year old Springbank, which is fantastic. I love the Macallan, that's, you know, that's a good go-to, but it looks like Michael Myers, he did, yeah, he did. Michael Myers or Freddie or Jason or somebody got a hold of me. But uh, Springbank is a fantastic single malt. From Campbellton, not from Isla or the Highlands or anywhere else. Campbellton, is it Campbelltown or Campbellton? If I recall, you said your brother lives in Colorado. That's right, he does. He lives uh, in the Durango area of Colorado. Ah, so Osage, it smells mentholated because it is. It's got like a, yeah, like an old, it's like medicinal. It smells green. If green could have a smell, than it does. Thanks, Andrew. Happy Halloween, early Halloween. I will be doing a live stream from a spooky cemetery in the middle of the day on Thursday uh, when I'm walking uh, home from work. I'll, I'll purposefully walk uh, or park over by that cemetery and walk you guys through it. I did it last year, but then I, uh, I think I, uh, I, I put it on private or something. I don't know why. I took it offline. I don't remember why exactly. There's no reason exactly. I just did, but I'll keep it up this time. Wow, that feels really good. So, to recap, I was sent, let me wash off the brush here. I was sent three soaps and two 3D printed brushes from Bob. Thanks, good to see you, Gavin. My job is I'm a voiceover guy, so I do commercials and video games and uh, I've done a bunch of uh, Japanese anime dubs into English. You know, thank you, YMMV shaves. Um, so anyway, so Bob, uh, who's Etsy store, Caden, if you could put that back in there in the live chat again, uh, a link to Bob's Etsy store. He's just a guy who makes soaps. He, he said, hey, I, you know, he contacted me a while back. He said, hey, I make soaps for fun. I'd love to send you something. And so he did. And he sent me the space soap, which I did a review on, and he sent me some more space soap this time. This is Afterburner. It's got extra kicked up menthol in it. But the special thing was he sent me these 3D printed brushes that look like rocket ships. See, see that? The flame is the brush. But, uh, <laughs> and he also sent me this space cow soap, which is what I use today. And this is what it looks like. It's black and white, like a Jersey cow, but it smells of like strong maraschino cherry or almond scent, like cella, but kicked up a bunch and it smells fantastic. I love anything cherry. Oh, smells good. Thank you, Caden. Caden, put that in the live chat if you want to check out Bob's store. He might be out of stock right now because he's just a guy. He's not a, he's not a company. He just does it for fun. But um, so Bob sent me this. No Shave November is coming up. I wanted to get as many shaves in as I can. This may be too much content for one week. I'm going to be doing I did it yesterday. I'm doing this today. Hey, Solid Shaves. Uh, I'm doing the live stream Thursday and then my normal one on Friday when No Shave November starts. So I just wanted to get in a shave with all this good stuff that Bob sent me. And thank you again, Bob, for doing that. I love this stuff. So the cool thing is, he sent me two of these Space Cow, the cherry ones. And he said, give one away. So I'm going to give this one away. So if you want to enter just uh, below this video, I guess, in the comments, just say, yeah, put me in the drawing for the Space Soap. For the, the cow, the Space Cow Soap. How about that? There we go. Not too much content. All right, Gabe. <laughs> and I think, if it's okay with Bob, he sent me two of these. Uh, one says Sinatra Lennon on it. You see it says Sinatra Space Soap Lennon. And then he sent me one that just says Space Soap, a little rocket. So if it's okay with Bob, I'm gonna give both of these away together as a little package thing. So enter down below, say, hey, hey, Scooby Dooby in the Netherlands. Uh, so if you wanna try out this fantastic Space Cow cherry, cherry, I mean, super cherry. You have to really love cherry because this is super cherry scented stuff. Hello, Germany, Elias. How are you doing, buddy? This is the one you'll be getting. This is not the one I used. So you will be, I'm gonna put these separately so I don't mix them up. But anyway, yeah. So don't do it here in the live chat. When this is over, go down to the comments section and, uh, and do it down there. So don't do it in the live chat right now. Do it when this is over. Go down the, you know, where you, where you normally comment. Um, <clears throat> Put it down there and say you're in for it, or maybe even on the next video, whatever. Somewhere I'll look around, but try to do it on this one. That way I can aggregate all of the entries and give it away soon. And I promise I will be giving away those shavettes. I haven't mailed them yet. I've got them already. I've got your addresses. Uh, I've, I picked the, uh, the winner for the pay it forward, and now I got this giveaway, so I'm, I got a lot of stuff going on. So lots of things happening. 
Thanks for joining me for this. This is just a quick impromptu thing. Hey, good to see you. Haruspication, is that how you pronounce it? Starlo Deer, yeah, you're welcome. You got a cut. Starlo Deer, for some reason, wanted to see me get cut. There you go. Look at that bright red. Does that mean I'm healthy? I don't know. Probably doesn't indicate anything, the color, color of my blood. Hey, I got it. All right. Haruspication. See, I'm a professional voiceover guy. It's my job to try to get things right in the first try. So anyway, uh, yeah, so thanks for joining me, everybody. If I didn't see your comment when I was doing it, I'm sorry if I didn't answer everybody's. Um, but I just wanted to share all this stuff. Caden, if you could post that one more time, the Etsy link to Bob. If you want to go buy your own, he'll have, I'm sure he'll have some more in stock soon, the Space Soap and the Space Cow. And uh, I'll be giving this away and this away to a lucky winner. Just make a comment down below when this live stream is done and say that you're in for the drawing and then I'll pick it uh, sometime, like, you know, I'll give it a few days for people to enter. There you go. Thank you, Caden. Caden, you get extra overtime pay. Caden, the, the moderator. Caden, one of the oldest uh, fans and one of the most staunch supporters of my channel. Thank you, Caden. I really appreciate it. It's hard to do it when you're standing here trying to talk and read and uh, got to go solid shaves. All right. Take care, buddy. <clears throat> Take care, everybody. In fact, have a good week. I will be back on Thursday with another live stream at about 1030 p.m. Central Standard Time. So figure that out wherever you are. And I'll be in the uh, Oakwood Cemetery, which is a, a, the first cemetery here in Austin. And there's a lot of burials. It's a beautiful, picturesque place right in the middle of town. <clears throat> and uh, it's gorgeous. And I walk through there all the time. But anyway, thanks, everybody. If you type something in, I'll give you a shout out while I'm, while I'm looking at all the chat. We got, who do we have here? We got Scooby Dooby. We got Starlo Deer. We got Haruspication, Rafael Leal Santos. We got uh, Paul Robinson. We got Caden Christensen, Andrew Hondo. We got Solid Shaves, we got Jack Padfield, we got Omar Martinez, Jeffrey Mac One, we got Yannick Van Open, Yannick Van Open? I try, I try, but I'm glad you're all here. Thanks for joining me. And uh, when this is done, go down to the comments uh, section. Philippe, or Philip, sorry, Philip, Philip Roach, enjoy yourself. Eric Cardona, good to see you. And Yannick again, close enough. <laughs> You'll have to tell me later how to pronounce it better. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me. Solid shaves. See you later. Barry Richardson. Roy Patterson. Tomislav Petak. See you, everybody. Uh, Stephen Simpson. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> Daniel Diachenko. All right. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. Ole Potoff. Have a good one. And I will see you all on Thursday live and then Friday for my first No Shave November. And Red Risotto, of course. Paul Robinson. Y'all have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Bye.